Hey everybody. Who's watching my videos? Let's find out together, shall we? So, um, if you don't know me, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a professor, an educator, uh, teach of cybersecurity, computer criminology, that kind of thing. Started my YouTube channel, uh, I mean, I've been a YouTube user since the very beginning, way back in 2005 or 2006, whatever it was. Um, but I started my channel um, around, I don't even remember when, um, I want to say around like two years ago or so, maybe a little bit before that, um, just as a place to uh, kind of guide students, put supplemental videos and stuff like that. My university has a learning management system, and we have a plugin that allows for video content to be uploaded there. But I've never really been a fan of the product, and I've definitely never been a fan of their UI. Um, it functions, but it takes, it feels like 10 times longer to do anything that I want to do. So YouTube, already being out there and having a much better system for uploading and managing videos, I decided, you know, yeah, let's create a channel, we can link students to some of these videos and stuff. Never really intended to even put anything out there publicly, and I actually posted videos to this channel for uh, a good long time um, without ever making any videos public. And then I decided to kind of conduct an experiment and see how it panned out. And that was about six months ago or so, I want to say. It was basically the beginning of the summer is when I really started doing it. And uh, I've never had any aspirations for being a YouTuber. God saved me from that fate. Um, but um, I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. How fast can a channel grow, especially one with such a niche interest as this? And so I decided to combine my content. Uh, first, what I would do is I would make whatever videos I had from conferences that had been recorded during COVID, um, as well as uh, Let's Play videos. If you yourself have never considered playing the YouTube game or being a YouTuber, uh, you may not be aware of this. If you have, you might have heard uh, that let's play youtubers well number one that's a fad that's sort of gone away on youtube uh, because generally people who want to watch let's play play videos seem to prefer longer form content of live streams than they do to smaller contained videos and also let's players tend to suffer uh, cyclical popularity because the game they play is really what draws viewers in it's very rarely the youtuber themselves and their personality that gets people to come back video to video um, and so i wanted to see what that was like so i started making some let's play videos focusing on hacking simulators um, after all of this time it's been like i said i, I want to say about eight months it might have been a year or so um, I have seen steady growth, and I find myself today thinking, hey, how about we check in on this together uh, and see how it's going. I'm particularly interested to see uh, growth patterns, if I can determine them. Uh, I would also be interested in seeing demographic information from my viewers, how many of them are returning and how long are they staying, and which videos seem to be performing better than others. Now, to be clear, uh, this channel is not monetized, and it's not big. We're talking, I have less than 300 subscribers at this point. But that 300 prescriber, uh, subscribers, uh, I want to say roughly, uh, I want to say about two-thirds of them, I think I had about 100 subscribers when I started this thing, um, is from just the last year alone. So, let's take a look and find out who's watching my videos. Uh, the first thing I want to do, let's switch from 28 days here. Let's go, let's go to the last year, and maybe that will help me to remember exactly when I started this. Of course, it uh, looks like YouTube is only really letting me know what my upload schedule has been like since the last couple of months. So this is uh, back in August, and this is my special topics, game hacking videos, and I was playing Grey Hack at this time, and that was definitely not the beginning of this endeavor. So it must have been uh, farther back here in, in June, or possibly even the end of April. But as you can see, in a year's time, I have gone uh, um, 256 subscribers is what I'm currently sitting at. Um, 21,000 
almost 22,000 views over the last year. And you can see that the growth over the last year, 376%. 195% more watch time and so on. So people seem to be watching my videos for longer and I'm getting more viewers in general. I don't know why these thumbnails are broken. They shouldn't be. Um, but my number one video over this period is one of the first ones that I put up, which is the Cybersecurity Forward 2021 Windows Forensic Artifacts. It is a conference video from, uh, obviously from 2021. So it has been up since July, so we're let, over a year now, and over a year my average view duration is only 4 minutes, <laughs> but it's gotten about 3,500 views. Um, I guess that's interesting. Um, if I were to play the YouTube game, that might tell me uh, that forensic videos over the long term might be a safer bet, um, but that is total views over... Um, over a year, um, whereas this one, about the same amount of time, let's find one right here. So yeah, actually, my first video for Greyhack, um, only up since June 30th, has gotten half as many views, even longer watch time. So yeah, that tells me that over a shorter term, Let's Play videos are outperforming. But again, with Let's Play, it really comes down to the game. So if I were to continue, if I wanted to be a Let's Play YouTuber, that tells me that I'm going to need to stick with Greyhack, right? Because if I switch, let's see, where's the, the next game that happens to be down here? Uh, World of Haiku, which was posted at the beginning of September of this year, uh, seems to be, it's on the list at least, um, but that may be morbid curiosity more than anything else with the nature of that game. Uh, let's do the Seymour here and see what we get. Um, let's see. Impressions click through rate. So impressions, um, are essentially when, uh, if I remember, if I understand this correctly, anyway, um, this is YouTube recommends, I think, or are these the end titles when a new video is recommended? I'm actually not sure. Um, I think, I think that's what it is. I think that the video is recommended and people click on them. Um, so total, the cybersecurity forward video apparently has appeared in front of people about 71,000 times. Only 2.8% of people actually click the link when they say that. So I suppose that might tell me maybe the thumbnail isn't drawing people in. Is that what that meant? That's meant to be. I would say that's probably it. Um, Wireshark, so the proxy, that's a much higher click-through rate. And here, Greyhack, uh, we can see clearly it's, uh, you know, 13% of people, when they see the thumbnail, they click on it, so they want to see it. So that makes sense. So it does tell me the thumbnail here is apparently more appealing than the thumbnail here, which makes sense, because, I mean, I put no effort into any of my thumbnails at all. Um, so owing maybe to the Greyhack logo, it intrigues people. Squally is definitely the first series that I put up. I think Squally is the absolute first ones uh, that I did a series on and made public, and that was July 2021. But I didn't actually have an upload schedule, and I wasn't trying to make videos regularly. I just did the series, and that was about it. So uh, it just goes to show, though, not, not as much interest for Squally as there is for games like Greyhack. People haven't really heard of Squally, and maybe they're just not that interested in it. Hard to say. I did re-record this uh, game hacking video, uh, Special Topics Game Hacking Using Wireshark Instead of the Proxy. I recorded that for my class. Um, so when I ran game hacking in the summer of 2021, I recorded that for my class. And when I re-ran it the next year in 2022, I re-recorded it not necessarily because the information was different or bad. Um, I was not happy with the video quality because I was running into some major problems uh, with my equipment over summer 2021, I had just moved into a new office and the computer I had just wasn't cutting it for running this kind of thing and recording. So I, I recorded it partially for that, but mostly what I did is I wanted to see how the two videos would perform if I put them both up. Um, one of them with a thumbnail, higher production quality. The other one is basically just raw recording, right? It's And it's terrible quality. Now, it's been up for a year longer, but we can see that the click-through rate, if it were to hold, it's not performing as well. 
So this is an example, I guess, of where the thumbnail just isn't helping me, right? Uh, at least that's my takeaway from it. Um, in general, the conference videos seem to be doing okay. I mean, Cybersecurity Forward is up at the top. I believe it's up at the top because I think that maybe because it is my default video that plays for new viewers, or at least it was for a while. So that may be it as well. But if we look at the subscribers that I'm getting from the videos, that is number one. It's not just number one, it's number one with a bullet. So people watch that and that's where my subscribers mostly are coming from, right? Is from that video. Um, most, my assumption was that most of my subscribers are probably either current or former students, but the growth that I've seen over the last year or so, or sorry, over the last few months since the beginning of summer, when I really started to upload regularly, um, leads me to believe that that, that can't simply, that simply can't be the case. Uh, right. Um, I just don't have that many students. So, um, I mean, I probably do have about a hundred students this semester, but it, it, normally that would not be possible. So, um, but it looks like while the let's plays seem to be doing okay in terms of views and stuff, it doesn't lead to a lot of subscribers. Even the gray hack video that's number three in this list with the fairly high, my highest, it seems click through impression rate, um, has only garnered me 16 subscribers from, from the video itself. So uh, it seems like Let's Players might be more interested in Greyhack, but maybe less interested than me, or less interested in me, uh, hearing more from me and so on. And it's possible that that could also be a performance issue. I'm not the best at Greyhack, and that's my first part. I'm floundering the entire time. As a matter of fact, I'm floundering through most of the videos that I have recorded. So uh, it might simply be a, a case of that. I'm not their cup of tea, which is obviously fine. Um, interesting, interesting stuff. What's this big spike here, I wonder? Uh, looks like that is Squally. What am I looking at? Views by content. So I got a lot of views, apparently, at this point on Squally for some reason. And this was like a year after it was uploaded, so I don't know what that's about. And then here's where Greyhack really starts kind of over overtaking everything. Views by subscribers. What are my subscribers watching? Uh, what's the spike over here? I don't know. Can't really tell. It's too high. Uh, let's do not do it daily. Let's do a weekly. Uh, looks like that spike is Haiku. Haiku Pro, a first look. So my subscribers, I, I after I started doing Haiku, I did a, a look at their subscription service. Um, this is Cybersecurity Forward. Interesting. Interesting stuff. I like numbers, so I dig this. How about um, subscribers by, what's this impressions? Let's see what we get out of this. Uh, definitely videos being recommended. Yeah, because this is cybersecurity forward right here, uh, being recommended around that time. So that makes sense. Where is my traffic coming from? Um, suggested videos. So, okay, I'm apparently wrong. No, because it seems to be sorting now my impressions. Um, so that is, I'm guessing, here, let's see what it says. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Inside the mind of this, these, what, what am I looking at? Oh, the videos upon which my videos are being recommended. Ah, okay. Cool. Um, inside the persistent mind of a Chinese nation state actor is where my videos are being recommended most. Even though I've only gotten four views from that. I don't know who this person is. Um, but I guess I appreciate riding their coattails, even though it doesn't seem to be doing me that much good. Um, most people look like most of the views I'm getting anyway from impressions are coming from people following the Grey Hack series from part one to part two, and so on. That's what this uh, seems to be. How to find IP address of people in online multiplayer games. Okay. How to activate Windows 11 Pro activation key 2022. Digital Forensic Crash Course for Beginners. How I mod a server-sided game. Introduction to Windows Forensics. So, forensic-related stuff. Uh, all of this might also be related to, of course, my... Um, channels uh oops i want to go back here 
Uh, my channel's branding and stuff. Like you can have keywords and stuff that help people to find your channel. And I um, predictably have put very little effort into mine. Uh, director unknown. Those have to be student views. Those have to be uh, links I put in our learning management system for people to find me. Uh, oh, I take it back. YouTube search is my main uh, way of getting views here by traffic source. And what are people searching for? Gray hack, gray hack gameplay, world of haiku, squally, Windows forensics, uh, Plumo, Brian Newmeister. Yep, yep, that makes sense. I got videos on all those guys. Um, is fun and addictive? Eight. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Rally man, dirt, night team four. Yeah, this makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. Um, watch time. Let's get in the watch time. Gray hack. Yeah, let's close this and go back. Traffic source. Um, <laughs> click through rate, average view duration. What are people watching the longest? It appears to be my well, playlists. Well, that makes sense. If you're, if you like me enough to start a playlist, of course I would expect you to watch longer playlist page. Other YouTube features, whatever that is, and suggested videos. Well, that's interesting indeed. Let's see geography though. Where are you all based? Who are you people? U.S. makes sense. Sweden, Germany, U.K. I admit I am a little bit surprised. I expected, I expected the U.S. I expected the U.K. Um. Did not expect Sweden and Germany to be number one or number two and number three, respectively. So, uh, if you're watching me from Sweden or Germany, hello. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and I let me guess if I click on this, it's going to give me a state breakdown. Wisconsin, that makes sense. That's where I am. Th these must be mostly my students, or almost entirely my students. So, that's fine. Uh, what about Germania? Uh, apparently, I, I have a viewer, <laughs> a viewer in Germany. <laughs> what about UK? Um, oddly enough, it doesn't. It, it lets me click, but it doesn't tell me uh, where in the UK. Um, but viewer in the UK, I see you. I see you. What else we got? India, United Kingdom, Poland, Spain, Canada. Wow, it is incredible how far you can get a message these days. I'm sitting here with less than 300 subs. I'm nothing special, and this is an extremely niche topic. And the fact that I've got viewers in all of these places, although, let's be honest here, not all of them, of course, are going to be viewers in these places. These are probably a lot of people using a VPN, right? I talk a lot about cybersecurity topics and so on, so it's probably probably a lot of people with VPNs. So if you're actually in one of these other places and you're not uh, using a VPN to appear to be in Thailand, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're at. Don't dox yourself, though. Cities. Okay, here we go. Stockholm. Malmo, Frankfurt, Perry. Nice. That's extremely cool. I don't know what else to say. Um... <laughs> Let's see who's winning out here, though. Average view duration. Where's my biggest fans? Rosenberg. More viewers in Stockholm, but they click off. <laughs> uh, how about viewer age? I have a feeling my demographic skews a little bit older. Um, I have no idea what the average demographic is for a YouTuber. But this is 25 to 34. And my guess is that's probably slightly older older than the average YouTube viewer, although YouTube itself is fairly long in the tooth, and a lot of the younger de demographics probably being siphoned off by Twitch and TikTok these days. Now, I also am curious, 7% between 35 and 44, um, that has to be older than the average YouTube demographic. It has to be. 
Oh, we got a couple of uh, 45 to 54 year old people here. Where's the uh, where's the gray beards? Where's the 65 and plus? Where's the 55 and plus? I got none. I got none at all. And uh, no children at all because I do mark every video as not being suitable for children. Um, which means that they're probably lying about their age and they're somewhere in here. It's the 45 to 54 year olds, though, who are watching for the longest amount of time. So that 7% of you in that group, thanks for watching and not clicking off, I guess. Gender's going to be mostly male, I bet. Yeah. Well, you know, actually, I don't know what the average demographic breakdown is. Honestly, I did start this with the idea that I would do a serious deep dive breakdown uh, and do some research and see how I stack up. But honestly, this is like a kid before Christmas and I couldn't wait. So I wanted to take a peek. I was actually going to run this for a full year before I made this video, but um, I couldn't help myself. So I don't have any research on hand. I don't know what the average demographic breakdown is for YouTube. Um, I certainly hope uh, that this is a little bit more egalitarian than most uh, other video or other channels or something, but I guess I, I wouldn't know. But I'm not surprised. Mostly, mostly male. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that uh, probably the subject matter, you know, the Let's Play videos and such, I'm not sure exactly what kind of videos generally um, appreciate greater female viewership, but I have a feeling that it's not me. Oh, let's see. How am I doing by day? So here's actually, this is actually a good breakdown. I'm glad I found this. So we can see over the last year, the, uh, the growth here, this is just views. So when I started doing this, let's say the beginning of June, just for the sake of argument, you can see that there's pretty solid growth going up, but it was right here really that I had a huge spike. Is that my gray hack series? It's hard to tell. Views. My biggest views by or date by views. August 17th. That surely must be a gray hack video. Must surely be. And followed uh, closely by September 10th, August 19th. Okay. Yeah. So you can see it does definitely ebb and flow, right? As we go. But uh, I don't have enough data here. Uh, to really put games up against each other. Clearly, Greyhack uh, is coming up at the top in a lot of these lists, so it's definitely the most popular series I did. And again, if I did have aspirations for becoming a YouTuber or something like that, and if I, if I really wanted to put effort into growing this channel, it means I'd be playing a lot more Greyhack. And I do want to play more Greyhack, but it's also not really my objective here. Um, so it is what it is. Subscription status. As with every other YouTuber, I'm sure most of the people, yes, are not subscribed. Typically, that's just the way it goes. They always say that if you're going to do YouTube videos, you need to have your call to action because it does show an appreciable difference in uh, subscribership if you, in the video, ask people to subscribe. I have never done that. I might do it as a joke or something one day. Uh, but, um, you know, whether people subscribe or not, again, is not what I'm trying. I don't want to influence the numbers. I just want to make videos randomly and just kind of see what happens just as my own personal intellectual and, you know, curiosity sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, but this is, I know, I know this is not unusual. I know that most times, uh, people are not subscribed when they click on a video and yeah, makes sense. Um, but, uh, okay. Subscription source, YouTube watch page, your YouTube channel. So most people are on a video when they subscribe and anybody who's not on a video goes to my channel and then subscribes. My guess would be that the majority of those hundred people who have subscribed on my YouTube channel are probably students uh, who went to a video maybe for a class and then later on came back and subscribed or uh, I don't know, man, you know what? That might be a, that might be a faulty assumption now that I think of it. Closed accounts. Subscribers lost. I lost uh, 11 people through my YouTube channel. They just didn't like my, the cut of my jib, I guess. Decided to go all the way to my channel to unsubscribe. Uh, and others on uh, whatever. So actually, I would be closer to 300 if I had not lost so many people. I would love to know which... Um, other. I don't know what other is. What's this? 
Before this category is called challenge, include sources that were now included in their own categories. Before, okay, my channel wasn't around then, so I have no idea what other, what is other? What could that possibly be? 14 subscribers lost through others. Two through closed accounts. I do have a feeling that many of my subscribers are bots. <laughs> I've always kind of suspected that. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, YouTube home. So somebody going through their subscriptions and they, you know, what is this guy doing here? Kind of a thing. Um, let me let's dig deeper on the YouTube watch page. Oh, it doesn't really have any more information. That's unfortunate. I was kind of looking forward to getting more detail on that. Fair enough though. Fair enough. Let's beggars can't be choosers here after all. Um, let's see. What's my biggest day lost? Looks like subscribers lost. Um, this one here. Oh, that's, that's the one that was through others. Uh, your channel. I lost two recently. I'm not sure. Let's see. What video did I post recently? Oh, I have been posting, um, my cybersecurity and society course which I, I expected would not necessarily be terribly well received by some, which is fine. Um, let's see. Well, I guess there's not really much else to see here. I, I, I would love more detail on this because I would really like to see which videos really turned people off and caused them to unsubscribe just to know what it was. Cause I say a lot of dumb stuff. I can't, I can't point to just one dumb thing I've said. That would cause people to unsubscribe. It, 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 there's literally too many things to choose from. Content type videos. Well, yes, I don't do shorts because that's far more work. What about my playlists? Gray hack, number one with a bullet. Bone Adventure 3 is second to that. Uh, playlist average view duration. Gray hack, threat gen red versus blue are popular. USB stick found in the grass. Oh, people are watching that. Not a lot of people are watching it, but they're watching it for longer, and that I really like that. That's I like that game. It's a forensic challenge. I'm excited about that. Um, almost none. See the. Um, where is it? Let's investigate right here. This is where I actually posted forensic challenges for my class, my digital forensics class this fall, and. Um, the videos haven't been doing super great, which I, I mean, you would think that they were, uh, they would because the forensic stuff seems to be popular, but apparently not that kind of forensic stuff. So device type people watching on mobile. No computer. Interesting. TVs, tablets, mobile phones, and computers. I thought mobile phone would be higher. Just my own suspicion, but the fact that people are watching on TV and just letting it go apparently for a little while longer, that's cool. That's cool to see. Oh, there's so much more than I thought that there would be. My God, I thought this would be quick. Well, I got to save something for the deep dive. So in a couple months, we'll come back and we'll take another look and see. Um, after I do a little bit of research, like I said, I just kind of couldn't resist um, content, uh, oh, look at this key moments for audience retention, 94% still watching at 30 seconds. The last part of my single player gray hack series, world of high part two, right? Part seven. Yeah. The, the let's plays are actually, they don't seem to be doing much for channel growth, but they do seem to get people's attention. That is in, that is extremely interesting. Because none of this, I mean, this right here, again, I re-recorded because it was a popular video, so people are watching that. Um, interesting. Below typical intro. So these are my worst performing ones. Oh, that's unfortunate. I really like this game. But that is, that is interesting. So the Let's Plays get people's attention, but it doesn't actually generate a lot of channel growth. That is so cool. I don't even remember what this is. Um, audience, we kind of already looked at. Where's the heat map? I want to see what that's about. Oh, here we go. 
when are people watching my videos? Nobody is using my videos to lull themselves to sleep. Most people are watching on their lunch break, it seems. United States, Sweden, no subtitles, English. Yeah. Yeah, well, we just already saw this. That's cool. That's good. Um, research. Is this going to show me uh, your viewers' searches? Python, affiliate marketing, Dart mission, how to make money. Don't Google me for how to make money. I can't tell you. Flying fish. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> Only half of these make any sense at all. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't have time for anything else i gotta go uh do something else but this this was an interesting sneak preview um i'm gonna do this again with a deep dive after i do a little bit of research on what some of these things are and a little bit more time passes so that i have more data to look at and I definitively know when my first upload in this series was, and definitively when my last was. And I remember timing it so that I would basically be like the beginning of the new year, uh, beginning of January, it would be the end of the experiment. So um, I guess if you want to see that one, come back in January, and we'll do a deep dive on this once again and see where we're at. Until then, take care, and we will see you in future videos. Goodbye.